Hey guys, it's your boy Cody back with another video. Today we're doing a complete installation guide of New World for Steam Deck. Um, I've had a couple of other videos as you know, but this is the complete version and works flawlessly. So first thing you want to do is hold the power button, the volume up and the power button and you'll get to this screen here. You want to go down and make sure you change your UMD to 4 gigabytes. Uh, that's the first step. So you definitely want to make sure that you've got that set to 4 gigs uh, and just look at this video if you're not sure where to click. It's pretty, you can't miss it really. Um, and once that's done, it's going to reboot you back onto the main screen. And from there, we're going to do some more settings. The first one's going to be Wi-Fi. And then from there, we're going to get some protons. And then from there, we're going to have to go onto the internet to get some more files and folders. Uh, and that will be, that there is the spicy part that makes all this possible for New World. So you want to go into here and you want to turn on dev support on the Steam Deck. And then from there, it opens up another new option at the bottom of the settings which lets you turn off wi-fi management which you want to do it will use slightly more battery supposedly but you end up with more in the way of um better connection so that's worth doing next up you're going to go into the library and search for proton and we just want a couple of protons from here we want proton anti-cheat and we want proton battle eye Battle Light isn't necessary, but you might as well get it now, and then that future proofs you for other multiplayer games. So make sure you get both of those. Uh, then from there, we're going to have to go onto the interwebs. I'll put the link to the website in the description below, where we're going to download a file that changes how the Steam Deck works. So disclosure here, this isn't my application. I didn't build it. Um, and you know you are fundamentally changing system settings of the steam decks functionality so by beware i've done it and i think a lot of people do it especially if you've been aware of the group pixel deck he does it for all his games so make sure yet you're comfortable doing this the process itself is really easy and you get a great reward which is a non-crashing version of New World and it's wonderful and I would highly 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 recommend it um, I will but before you do that you've got to go to console and you've got to set a password so if you haven't done it you'll need to set a password for your Steam Deck um, I'd already set mine so I just went to the page to show you it but I didn't bother redoing it because I've already put in I've already made my password for my Steam Deck so just um, try and I just made the password the same as my logon for Steam so you can do whatever you like but just don't forget it because otherwise you won't be able to change the setting if you want to revert it back to default right so you go to this GitHub page and then you right click on it and it's called Cryobytes and then you save it don't try and open it from the um, the Internet Explorer. Make sure you open it from the Downloads folder so it executes correctly. It'll install, we'll ask you some questions, and then we'll get to the next stage, which will be pretty straightforward. Um, and of course, on the GitHub page, it explains all the benefits of this and not really any downsides. So definitely worth doing even just in general as it helps the Steam Deck I've noticed much better performance in games so yes it's just telling you the disclaimer here that you know you're going to end up you know changing your system um, and then I just log in which is fine this takes me a few seconds here because I made a super long password I will have to go back and post and uh, hide this. I don't think anyone's going to use my Steam Deck, but you never know. All right, it will tell you to go through. Now, you're going to want to change this. I've put mine to 12, but if you can go higher, it recommends 16, I think. But 12 will let you play New World without it crashing when logging into cities. It will ask you if you want to. It will do its little thing here where it goes through. It'll take 
it takes a couple of minutes nothing like too major but you know a little bit of time and it will just and then once it's done it'll ask you to change your swappiness default is 100 um but they it recommends you change to one so that's what i've put it on is one you go from 100 down to one and then it will say do you want to do trim now i don't need to do trim because it's or I've already done it. You can just you just push yes and it'll do it'll take you know ten minutes, whatever, and then it's done. And then after that you can go back into steam mode. Now I uh, I've been using different protons, I've been using this and that for New World. With with the Cryobytes application installed, you no longer need to use a Proton version. Just use the old standard Steam Proton. Um, and you'll have no issues. Uh and yeah, I think I just go here to show you that I've got no fancy Proton settings on or anything like that. It's just straight the game. And then, yeah, you can just play there. But I do recommend, yes, you download my controller scheme before you start playing. So to do that, you just go over to the search. They've added a search thing, which is freaking awesome, by the way. And then you just search for King Salami and you'll find my all caps <laughs> Uh, download for my controller scheme which i have a new video detailing that coming out in the next couple of days as well so we're, we're we're at the end of the light boy at the end of the tunnel boys this is the final complete guide on how to play new world on steam deck um so yeah definitely download that and then you can load up the game knowing you're basically ready to go no more issues zoom zoom and then we done we done so my deck's going well i'm really happy with this um i've got a few more videos for different games coming out in the next few days too but i wanted to get this new world these refined completed updated new world videos out of the way because it's been hell on earth trying to play this game with it crashing with the default steam os settings so Changing these is a net game because all games run better. But again, this is completely up to you and it's a personal decision. Um, I did it because I want to play this game without it crashing when I lock in. So, and because of this change, we no longer need to go and like go back to the home screen when it's loading into the server, as you'll see here. The load times are quite long, but if it's not crashing, I don't care. All right, at the end of the day. So I go through here, I show you all my settings. I still have everything knocked down quite low because I don't want any undue stress on the system. If I can get away with it being lower, the better. You know what I mean? So I just want that stability. And if you start turning up some of these graphical options, you end up um, with the dynamic resolution like being a bit more forceful. So you might have a nice looking game, but you lose it all as it's dropping the resolution longer you know so it, it looks muddier so you end up not it's a net gain of zero it looks prettier until the resolution drops to cover the frame rate so i wouldn't recommend it the other thing is make sure you lock it in game to 30 frames per second and lock it to 60 in steam os and that will give you the best looking version of new world even though no matter what settings you use because as long as the game is internally locked to 30, the dynamic resolution scaler won't lock in so hard. Uh, I found that if you put it 60 or uncapped, but you still cap it with the Steam Deck to say 30, you end up with a very degraded picture because internally the game wants to run at a higher resolution uh, or a higher frame rate. So definitely don't do that. And then yeah, we just here we go. We just log in, and I'm I'm purposely in the city of Ebon Scale, um, and the load times are, as you're gonna watch here, reasonably long. You're probably gonna skip through some of this, which is fine. I'm just doing this all in perpetuity because sometimes you watch a guide and it's cut up so much. You're like, something's gone wrong, and they've cut it to make it look like it's all worked out as planned, or you know, this, this works, or I don't know, you know, so I do that like this, and of course you can just zoom past all me gabbering on, but I just want to show you that I'm not lying, we have had issues, even like this week I posted a video complaining about the stability of the game, 
Uh, but changing the swappiness and the uh, RAM setting thing, however it works, where you're going to use, depending on what size you pick, you know, 12, 24, 16, whatever, that is coming out of your total memory of your Steam Deck, okay? So I went for 12 as the minimum because I only have a 256 gig Steam Deck and I don't have additional storage yet. There you go, we've logged into Steam Deck and it worked. No crash, no nothing, we're in the city. I wander around a little bit here and then I teleport to Oxenboro just to prove that teleporting between cities works and you're not going to have it crash. Um, looking at time, you're getting about, yeah, you know, it's saying an hour and a half battery, but I don't know whether to believe that because... The other night it was telling me two hours so i'm not sure what's changed there either way it's working as intended now the game is basically fixed doing this thing so i have to make a shout out i think i made the shout out in the other video to the guy that commented said yes swappiness and the ram increase makes a difference so i'm really really happy that we finally have a situation where New World is playable on Steam Deck. There is a lot of steps, but it works, and it works really, really, really well. So I'm happy to say New World for life, baby. Nah, that's cool. Um, if there's is there anything else I want to talk about before we finish up, not really. I think we're we're pretty good now. Um, just the load times uh, you know you don't normally teleport in and out of the cities that much so this shouldn't be an issue um, again if you increase the swap the, the swap file size from I'm on 12 right to 24 or 16 this might be faster again but of course as I was saying I don't have the memory for that yet until I get an SD card so we just do the 12 um yeah, this is taking a sweet old time. When I was recording this, I was like, my golly gosh, this is a slow load. Uh, I was like, well, I've started it now. I'm, I'm going to commit to the, the fact that this is loading like a motherfucker. Uh, yeah, so we'll have a New World controller guide out tomorrow or the next day or the day after that, which is what I'm using now. And then I might have... Uh, a couple of games that I've been testing on Steam Deck and then we'll be, you know, popping in and talking about New World in general going forward, like, because I still like the game a real, a lot, so definitely going to have more to say on this game going forward and I really hope Amazon Game Studios, you know, can keep the momentum up after the release of the new new servers and New Worlds, so... And some official controller support. Just give us, just give us real controller support. Like, we're close. Like I've, you know, the community's made some really cool controller schemes, but some actual built-in to the engine control scheme would be absolutely ideal going forward. Anyway, guys, catch you later.